Over two years have passed since the James Webb Space Telescope was launched successfully, marking a new era of astronomical exploration. Astronomers are currently reveling in a rich period of discovery as this remarkable telescope pushes the boundaries of our cosmic understanding. However, these discoveries have also brought forth perplexing questions for cosmologists. Recently, the telescope delved into the first 500 million years after the Big Bang once again, revealing galaxies that defy conventional expectations. These galaxies appear surprisingly mature and massive for such an early cosmic epoch. Among them is a galaxy that stands out as potentially one of the oldest ever observed, boasting billions of stars already. Interestingly, just two years ago, the Hubble Space Telescope detected this enigmatic cosmic entity as a mere point of light within its expansive view. At that time, scientists couldn't fathom the true nature of this peculiar speck until the James Webb Telescope turned its gaze towards it. Webb's observations unveiled the point of light as a primordial galaxy, significantly more massive and developed than anticipated. Dubbed G's 9P3, this galaxy resides at a redshift of ZAL 9.3, offering a glimpse into its state a mere 510 million years after the Big Bang. Furthermore, Webb has enabled the detection of other galaxies at similar early cosmic epochs, some dating back to around 300 million years after the Big Bang. These discoveries continue to reshape our understanding of the early universe, presenting astronomers with new mysteries to unravel. In the ancient stars of G's 9P3, researchers uncovered significant traces of elements like silicon, carbon and iron. Iron stands out as the heaviest element that stars are capable of producing. When these stars reached the end of their lives and exploded, they scattered these elements throughout space, enriching the early universe with what we call metals, which later became crucial components of new stars. What's intriguing is that there were more elderly stars in GZ 9P3 than initially anticipated. This discovery hints that galaxies might have matured chemically at a quicker pace than previously imagined. It appears that stars were contributing to the universe's metal content at a faster rate than we had assumed. The presence of these unexpectedly mature older stars in GZ 9P3 challenges our existing understanding. It suggests that stars formed much earlier than we had thought, aging enough to reach this advanced state by this point in cosmic history. These revelations imply that we may need to develop a new model to explain how galaxies grew so rapidly to attain such a chemically mature status. Furthermore, alongside their surprising chemical makeup, these findings hint at the likelihood that galactic mergers played a dominant role in shaping the universe immediately following the Big Bang. While our current cosmological framework might not be entirely off the mark, it seems that we may need to revise our understanding of the speed at which galaxies formed during those early epochs. Considering that these galaxies defy our previous assumptions about their massiveness, it's becoming apparent that our cosmological model, constructed from meticulous observations, theoretical frameworks, and the rigorous mathematical backing of those theories might be missing some vital pieces. You might have heard murmurs about a crisis looming over cosmology, and it all began when various methods for determining the age of the universe started producing conflicting results, a conundrum that persists to this day, baffling cosmologists. The recent revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope have only deepened this cosmic crisis. As we peer into the depths of space, we observe the universe expanding, with distant galaxies receding farther away from us. Now, when we employ one method, drawing on the cosmic microwave background, the ancient light lingering from when the universe was a mere 380,000 years old to calculate the rate of this cosmic expansion, we arrive at one value. Yet, there's another method at play. By studying the brightness of distant supernovas, celestial events of cataclysmic proportions, and comparing their expected brightness to what we actually observe, we can estimate the universe's expansion rate at the time of these explosions. This method, fondly referred to as standard candles, yields a different result. 
The disparity between these two methods, known as the Hubble tension, paints a puzzling picture. The Hubble constant, denoting the expansion rate of the universe, is at the heart of this discrepancy. And this, my dear friends, encapsulates the enigmatic crisis brewing within the realm of cosmology. However, there's another crisis looming on the cosmological horizon, one that presents a fresh challenge to our established models. I've dedicated my entire career to developing a specific theory of the universe, and now that theory is under scrutiny. Yet, I welcome this questioning because it's the essence of scientific progress, remarks one researcher. When you gaze up at the night sky, provided you're away from the glare of city lights, you're greeted by a vast array of stars. Among them, the Andromeda galaxy appears as a faint smudge amidst the stellar tapestry. This celestial sight hints at the vastness of the cosmos, filled as it is with stars and galaxies. But here's the fundamental question. Just how much of the universe do these stars and galaxies occupy? In simpler terms, what is the true extent of cosmic matter? This seemingly straightforward question belies a complex reality. The dilemma arises because current cosmological observations offer conflicting accounts of how matter is distributed throughout the universe today. This discrepancy has birthed what's now known as the S8 tension, also dubbed the new cosmological distress, adding another layer of mystery to our understanding of the cosmos. Now, let's delve into the S8 tension, a concept that measures the clumpiness or clustering of matter within the universe. Imagine the universe as an immense puzzle with its pieces of matter scattered throughout space. Scientists are intrigued by how this matter is distributed and how it congregates in certain regions. There are two primary methods for gauging this phenomenon. Firstly, Scientists employ precise calculations using low redshift observations, such as weak gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing occurs when massive objects like black holes and galaxies bend and distort the light from more distant objects, effectively acting as cosmic magnifying glasses. This technique offers valuable insights into the structure of the universe. However, the S8 value derived from the second method, which relies on the standard model of cosmology based on measurements of the cosmic microwave background, doesn't match up with the values obtained from low redshift observations. This discrepancy lies at the heart of the perplexing S8 tension, highlighting a significant gap in our understanding of the universe's structure. Now, where do we go from here? It's evident that there's a significant gap in our understanding despite the plethora of theories, observations, and supporting hypothetical entities. So, what's the missing piece of the puzzle? To unravel this mystery, astronomers turned to one of the most powerful supercomputers on the planet to conduct the largest cosmological simulations ever attempted. The sheer scale of this endeavor is mind-boggling. Consider this. The simulations demanded over 50 million hours of computing time, spread across 30,000 processes housed within the DRA Cosmo 8 supercomputer at Durham University in the UK. This ambitious project, dubbed Flamingo, short for Full Hydro Large Scale Structure Simulations with All Sky Mapping for the Interpretation of Next Generation Observations, is a testament to human ingenuity and technological prowess. What sets Flamingo apart from its predecessors is not only its immense size and high resolution, but also its comprehensive approach. Unlike earlier simulations that primarily focused on gravitational effects, Flamingo incorporates a myriad of other factors, aiming to provide a more complete understanding of the cosmos. Until recently, the majority of cosmological computational simulations focused solely on modeling dark matter, given its prominence as the primary component of cosmic matter. However, despite normal baryonic matter constituting only a fraction of the universe's mass, it wields significant influence over the distribution of cosmic matter at smaller scales. Factors such as galactic winds propelled by supermassive black holes and the explosive aftermath of supernovas can impede the growth of galaxies. Unlike previous simulations that solely accounted for dark matter, Flamingo adopts a more comprehensive approach by incorporating and tracking ordinary matter as well. 
This shift acknowledges that while dark matter governs gravitational interactions, the role of ordinary matter can no longer be overlooked. While the simulation represents a notable advancement, successfully replicating the formation of galaxies like the Milky Way and Andromeda, it falls short in addressing a crucial observation the weak clumping of matter in the present-day universe, which was the primary puzzle Flamingo was meant to solve. Could it be that the Flamingo simulations are signalling a flaw in our cherished standard model of cosmology? Furthermore, the simulation's findings appear to contradict observations made by instruments such as the James Webb Space Telescope and other observatories regarding the distribution of matter throughout the universe. While the current theory elegantly elucidates the evolution of galaxies, a discrepancy arises. It predicts that galaxies should be clustered together approximately 7% more tightly than they are observed to be. The latest computer simulation boasts an unprecedented level of detail incorporating the influence of supermassive black holes. Yet, despite this advancement, it still falls short, showing a discrepancy of 5% in terms of clumpiness. Recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope have provided further validation of the existence of the Hubble tension. Indeed, the James Webb Space Telescope has corroborated the findings of its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. The groundbreaking observatory has revealed that Hubble's calculations regarding the universe's expansion rate stand out, exacerbating the perplexing Hubble tension. In essence, the measurements of the universe's expansion rate, encapsulated by the Hubble constant, remain at odds. The underlying cause of this discrepancy eludes us, but some hypotheses suggest that new physics may be required to reconcile this apparent contradiction. With measurement errors ruled out, we're left with the tantalizing possibility that our understanding of the universe may be fundamentally flawed. Emerging theories are already gaining traction, with some advocating for a re-evaluation of the role of dark matter. What are your thoughts on this matter? Feel free to share your comments and remember to subscribe. Because this is your platform for exploration.